all right guys let's do the second one which is cross-site web socket hijacking sounds interesting but what is it this online shop has a live chat feature implemented using web sockets to solve this lab use the exploit server to host an html or javascript payload that uses cross-site web socket hijacking to exfiltrate the victim's chat history then use this to gain access to their account mm, okay okay so this is just a note so let's access the lab all right we have a live chat feature here and we have an exploit server here let's type something let's type something else so we have some content here right so what happens when we just restart this okay so let's see the burp history before we do that as usual we get this chat request okay so this is when we click the chat icon this live chat and uh, this is what happens when it is switching protocols to use websocket okay so once we go to websocket here we have all the requests and this is the request that we sent to the server for the first time okay so that request is ready okay and the client replied with something okay and we just said hi and then the server replied to us with the same thing and then it is typing and then it replied with this okay and then we sent asdf and then it replied with the same thing that i was typing and then typing and then it replied with that okay so this is how the flow of the message is going on so what happens when i clear the history okay now there is no websocket history what if i click this again okay i'm clicking on this okay we still have all the chart remaining here right we still have all the chart so what happened here is we again sent the ready message okay so there is nothing else we we sent from client side which means our side so we did not send anything but ready okay so the server has dumped all these messages so what does that mean so to get all the chart history all you have to do is you need to send that ready message okay that's all you need to send if you go to http history and here we have that switching protocols request okay so this request contains only session id okay so there is nothing like csrf token or anything like that so what we can do is we can create a cross-site request from another user okay so we don't know that user but from here so they said victims chat history so they did not mention any name okay but this exploit server is designed in such a way that when you deliver your exploit to the victim this particular button will directly deliver it to the victim okay which means that particular person or any other user okay so it will directly send it to them all you have to do is you need to create a script and you need to deliver it to the victim so the flow of the messages will be so it will start from me and i will send it to some other victim and victim will send a request and that request will reach the server and the server will reply back to us okay it will not reply back to the victim it will reply to us okay so this is what we want so all we have to do is we need to send a ready message as victim so let's open any text editor let's create a script okay so let's create var ws okay i have saved you some time okay to create this script so what we have done is we have created a web socket okay so that web socket is the connection between that user and the server okay let's say here victim and the server so that connection will initiate so we need to keep the url of the ready message okay so if you go to the burp suite this is the ready message right so let's copy this url and let's paste it here 
okay and here as you can see it is using two protocols right so it should not use two protocols it should use only one protocol which is websocket protocol okay once it is created then this will say that websocket connection is created okay so this is the same website that the victim is also using okay so that's why we kept this url and this is stored as a variable called ws so this is the variable that we will be using next once it is created it will say once the websocket is open okay on open what you need to do is you need to send a ready message to the server okay once it sends the ready message server will reply with something so server will reply all the chart history right so all we have to do is we need to send all these messages to somewhere okay somewhere that we can control okay so what we have done is websocket on message which means the server is replying to us so it will create an event okay so this is just a variable okay so you can replace this with anything but this particular thing we, you will be using right over here okay so what we are saying is you need to fetch something okay so, so this something will be our burp collaborator request okay so this is the one so copy this and paste it over here so we want to send all these messages to this particular url okay so how do we want to send it so we want to send it using a post request and uh, we said no course which means we don't want to use something like a cross origin resource sharing so we essentially are disabling it okay just in case so i don't think we need this but this is just a security measure for us okay so if we use this there is a higher chance that we will get the messages back to us okay so and the body is that event which we have created here okay dot data so whatever data it holds we want that information okay so that's it and uh, we can end this with this right once it is created you can just copy this go to the exploit server and here we want to create it as a script okay so why do we want to create it as a script so the main reason is we are sending it to the victim so once we send it to the victim the victim is operating in a browser right just like us just like we are operating over here victim is operating in a browser so once the victim receives this script tags he will immediately execute the script tag okay because he is in a browser browser will run script tags once he runs the script tag he will initiate a web socket and he will say ready and all the messages that are coming up those will be sent to the burp collaborator okay you can directly send it let's see what happens let's go to the burp collaborator and poll now and we have all this request okay initially these are all dns queries so it is searching for this particular domain okay so it is searching for this burp collaborator and once burp collaborator is uh, identified it is starting to send request to us okay so what is the data that it sent so if you see the request here it says uh, the user who is there he said i forgot the password and then he also said thanks i hope it doesn't come back and bite me and then this one said how can i help and this one said now chatting and this one said no problem carlos so this is your password okay so that's what this chat history said okay so as you can see all this request did not come in order so that's how websocket works websocket doesn't need to send all the request in a single order okay this is how web sockets work so let's go here let's copy that password and as you can see the user is carlos okay so let's go back let's go to my account let's go carlos and password and that should solve the lab and i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one